Thank you to Kador for being this video's patron. If you want to pick what video I do next, support me on Patreon using the link below. Fish is a new TCG exclusive archetype out of Power of the Elements. We finally teaching these fish to synchro summon! So let's go over some of their combos. You want to open paces, Colacanth, and any discard. You have 10 ways of opening paces, 3 of itself, 3 Beauty Tuneful, 3 Field Spell, and Terra. Summon paces effect banish itself to summon Colacanth, Colacanth effect discard a card. And from here we can do anything we want, so we're going to be coming back to this point a bit later in the combo. For the first one, we'll summon Grethus. Shift and any two level fours. Synchro Grethus and a level four into White Aura Monoceros. Monoceros effect bring back Grethus. Then overlay Monoceros and Colacanth into Mermail Abyss Gaios. Grethus effect bring back the level four. Synchro Shift and a level four into White Aura Dolphin. Link Grethus and a level four into Halk. Halk effect summon another Paces. Synchro Paces and Dolphin into Ascon and then pass turn. In your opponent's standby phase, Paces summon itself back and in the main phase, you can Halk effect into Shooting Riser and Riser effects and Fairy Tail Snow to the grave. This gives you a Mastin Gate with Abyss Gaios, a mass banish of the entire board by Quick synchroing Shift and Ascon into Deep Beyond, along with Snow Follow Up on the next turn when your Deep Beyond comes back to buff it even more to go for the OTK. Now let's take it back a few steps. We're summoning monsters with Colacanth, but when we're summoning Monoceros, we make sure you summon it to the EMZ. Use this effect to bring back Grethus, and Grethus effect bring back level 4. Synchro summon Monoceros and Grethus into Barone. Synchro Colacanth and Shift into Croco Dragon. Croc effect draw a card, and now overlay your two level 4s into either Abyss Dweller or Bahama Shark to make totally awesome, whichever is better for that matchup. This gives us a negate with Barone, a pop with Croc, and either Graveyard Lock or negate. Stepping away from the Colacanth combos, let's take a look at the weaker boards this deck can produce. So if we open Paces, which again, 10 ways to do so, and Abyss Shark, you can summon Paces, Abyss Shark effect summon itself and adding Grethus. Paces effect banish itself to summon Grethus, Synchro Grethus and Abyss Shark into Dragite. Grethus effect to buff Dragite by 1k attack and defense and pass. In the standby phase, Paces comes back. This gives you a backer negate with Dragite, as well as a mass banish with Deep Beyond. Another minimal combo is opening Paces, Enoch, and any fish. Normal Paces banish itself to summon Enoch. Enoch effect summon back Paces. Enoch's second effect to banish the fish from your hand to search fish chain. Synchro Enoch and Paces into Ascon, set fish chain, and pass. On your opponent's turn, you can activate chain, banishing Ascon to summon a shift, and then Ascon effect to summon itself back so you can quick synchro into Deep Beyond for a mass banish. The rest of the things here are going to be fun options, not combos themselves, just variations you can try. Instead of going into Baron with Monoceros and Grethus, you can go into Chengying. Since your deck inherently banishes their own cards, its effect to disrupt your opponent will almost always be live, and using Grethus can give it an extra 1k buff in addition to its own buff for each banished card. If you're going into a split format, which which it looks like we will be, Splash Capture is a cute side deck card doing what your deck wants to do anyway and rewarding you for it. While people will tell you to play the new Mori of Avarice card, I think that's just bait. If you have a monster on board, you can already banish it, you don't need to draw two more. Plus, it clashes with Prosperity, which I just feel like is better. If your opponent activates Lancey on you, you either have Cross Out or you cry. Overall, this deck is a fun new direction for fish decks. Rather than being XC spam and negates, we can build around synchro climbing and breaking boards. And I feel like you could see some meta representation, not as a top deck, but as a rogue deck that people need to be on the lookout for. Here is a decklist I came up with. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing or joining my Discord down below.